so about a week ago I planted some onion bulbs and it's iced over a few times I mean we've had I think it's 22 degree weather two or three days in a row and the onion bulbs are just sprouting anyway they're popping up we're getting onion greens popping from at least the surface of this one and these and they look like they're doing okay i see one of the bulbs is exposed right there but it's still sprouting it's still growing even though it's exposed it's kind of weird huh but these are in um the pallet beds and uh, i'm pretty sure i planted onions in the other ones i'll actually have to go back into my uh diary i keep a, a a garden diary because you guys know that uh i'm really good at <laughs> forgetting what i planted something else that's doing really well with the icing over um now the swiss chard this swiss chard has had it um it was planted back uh in the spring and i've had all i can have off of it i'll show you guys what i've uh, made with it and um, the last of it that we were able to harvest before this fourth and final day of freezing where it just kind of never recovered even though it gets sunlight after the you know the thaw it it just you know most of the bigger leaves they just kind of taste like Ugh. but the time Time has made it um, a lot of the uh, peppermint that's been kind of sheltered by the the Swiss chard. It's made it okay. Um, I had some dill that was growing um, from the last dill that we had planted. This was the dill from uh, last year, and you can see that dill isn't. Uh, there anymore and then there's this huge spanish onion um that we had planted from seed just to see if it would you know work with the deal which it did not grow until after the deal was completely dead now the deal's actually coming back so i'm not sure um what that's going to do for the other things that are planted in that bed um this is the bed that we had made out of cement blocks that housed some of our peas, um, our um, Crowder peas and a few tomatoes. And we left some intentionally so that when we turn over the, the soil that's in this bed, um, and we're only gonna turn it slightly, we're not gonna really till it, and we're just gonna kinda see what happens, just kinda pull up the dead plants and see what happens. These were uh, some kind of queen something zinnia and some of the seed has dropped all around so we'll see what happens with that too y'all know i'm one of those let's see what happens kind of people but you can see that it's uh cold out here see these these buckets of discards that i haven't emptied there's ice in them blocks <laughs> like the what you're seeing is not a solid color that's that's ice so I had planted some shepherd's purse over here and it's weathering the ice pretty well. I have not picked any to dry it yet. Uh, we're probably going to do that in the next couple of days. And I think I've told you before about how shepherd's purse is really good for um, certain ailments. It, um, you know, related to bleeding. And uh, it definitely uh, is, is hardy. And this is more than frost. This is a day of rain at 50 degrees followed by 22 degree night. This is lavender. And the lavender seems to really like the, the ice. It has done splendid here. It's actually um, tripled in size since it was planted. Um, and it's only been in the ground, um, what, about seven months, 
so it's tripled in size and something else is well this is the other lavender plant but beside it is rosemary this rosemary is doing splendid in the ice i mean it smells good it tastes good and it's sitting uh well growing inside of a couple of extra cement containers there's a milk jug from uh, a field uh, winter gardening experiment by my my daughter because it probably helps if you uh water <laughs> what's in the milk jug so if you guys are into um, winter sowing the milk jug you know um, containers are, are really good to put out certain plants you know when things ice over kind of like mini greenhouses and the catnip catnip is next to two types of sage i've got um I, I don't remember what what the names of them are but it's two different types of sage that it's beside and um this catnip is just it, it's awesome the leaves are still good um it's also been iced over and you can see the white on some of that that's not a glare that's actually frost on it um and you can still harvest it and get it dried out for tea um, or some people have chewed on the, on the leaves. I have a member of my family who just likes to chew on them just to get the laxative effect instead of going through the trouble of drying it and brewing tea. Um, it's not as calming um, for <laughs> people as I think it is for felines, but it still has a lot of good properties. Now here are more onions that are coming up in a container that is no use for anything else um see it's broken on the side right there and there's actually a huge hole down there that little gap is is a hole going out to the grass <laughs> um don't throw away containers just because they don't hold water because you can still plant stuff in them speaking of containers so more than a year ago see that that bag of potting soil right there i planted strawberry seeds and the strawberries grew they actually those are alpine strawberries and they um gave us a few berries that um first year so last summer we got a couple of berries this is what well, january the shucks seven 10th i don't know i'm wearing a watch and i need to look at it it's january the 11th and the ice does not kill most strawberries they're pretty hardy but these are alpine strawberries and i'm assuming they're you know winter variety anyway they seem to have done um a lot better in the winter and they are literally just inside a bag of potting soil there is you know, like no bucket no you know the container is the bag and basically all I did was cut a big hole out the top and put some slits in the bottom for drainage and that's the container and for a while I had it on the patio um, then we moved it to the porch then we moved it out here and it's still in the same bag it's given some strawberries we have had to fertilize it because eventually the nutrients are gonna run out of that bag just like any other container um, I'll leave the video for that um, somewhere. <laughs> and these are the uh, the mix now of Georgia collards and mustard greens. And you can kind of tell the difference. Um, one is really big and leafy and the other has like a, more like stalk and then leaf at the end. But uh, they are doing awesome out here and this ice is nothing for them it's nothing for them even the younger plants are doing really well out here and we've had a couple of harvestings they do really well um mixed with like swiss chard if you're gonna steam them or whatever um the chard gives them a, a little more citrusy flavor and kind of kind of balance out the the green taste if you don't really care for them Look at that. Y'all see that? The deer have been through here. But 
Those are deer prints. Hoof prints. Let's see here. See that? And that. And that. Yeah. So the deer have been through here. And look, nothing's been eaten. And at this point in the game, there's nothing going on in the fields. All the trees are pretty much bare. There might be a few pecans on the ground. You know, even our trees are bare. There are no leaves to, to, to eat. There, you know, they won't touch those blackberry leaves over there because there are thorns on the blackberry bushes. But there's nothing for the deer to eat around here. They come through looking anyway. And cheers. It's very Kelly. You want some? So don't let the fact that it's winter stop you from growing anything. There, You can put a seed just about in any container. Now I'm not saying that hot weather stuff is going to grow in the winter, but I am going to say that there's a lot of winter food that is highly nutritious and you can get by um, and I'm not going to say 30 days, but you can get by, you know, with microgreens anyway, if that's the way you're, that you're going to go. But you can sow something in the winter and it doesn't have to be from the container store or from, you know, a big box store or from a hardware gardening, um, <laughs> door and lumber supply store. It can be from the dollar store hamper aisle, you know, containers seeds a growth medium and some water and your time speaking of time thank you for watching